happy. I'm getting a little respect, but you know, I still got work to do. Speed on three, speed on me, one, two, three, speed, yeah! Well, I had already prepared myself going into the offseason that um, it was probably going to be a long process um, and it, it could have been short, you know, but I prepared myself for the worst case scenario. It's great that we can all get back together again and, and uh, celebrate days like this, um, celebrate guys like DK. Yeah, it was a difficult time, you know, going back and forth with uh, John and then my agent, but, uh, you know, I just had to stay strong and, you know, I, I knew my worth and, you know, knew what I wanted at the end of the day. I want to thank you for your professionalism and your patience through this process. You know, I thought it was really, really fitting looking back uh, and ironic that Cam Chancellor was able to be at the 2019 draft and, and uh, be able to introduce uh, DK with the 64th pick. With the 64th pick in the 2019 NFL draft, the Seattle Seahawks select. The Seahawks are making the final pick of the second round of the 2019 NFL Draft. All right, all right, all right, all right. DK Metcalf, wide receiver. Yes! Yes! I would imagine DK Metcalf. That's exactly what DK Metcalf said. Listen, what we talked about, the perfect fit is a team that runs the football and wants to go over the top. He is the human Batman suit physically. It's like one of those cheesy draft day movies or something. I kind of leaned over and I'm like, we're on the clock. And he's like, Whoa, who, who are we, are we, how, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, it's, you were out of the room, it's over. And he's like, you gotta be kidding me, DK Metcalf's gonna be on our team? Hello? DK? Yes, sir. Hey, it's John Schneider with the Seattle Seahawks. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, bud? Good. You doing all right? Yes, sir. Hey, man, get fired up. We're gonna make you a Seahawk right here, okay? <laughs> you all right, bud? All right, man, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You got you got to help me out in the weight room though. I'm a little little slow in that area, okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Look forward to this, brother. Okay. Here's Coach Carroll. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. DK. <laughs> hey, DK. This is Coach Pete Carroll. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. <laughs> <I'm> doing... <laughs> Okay, we'll both cry together then, all right? <laughs> Why y'all wait this long, man? I know, I know, I know you had to wait a little bit, but that doesn't matter because you're coming to Seattle. Congratulations, you're a Seahawk, dude. Man, thank you, thank you. I hit him really hard, you know. I mean, that's who he is, you know. He's, he's an all-in guy. Uh, puts his head down, works his tail off. Yeah, he was really emotional. Yeah, he got me tearing up, too. <laughs> he was so emotional about the wait and the anticipation of the pick. Um, it was hard on him and challenged him, and, and uh, he was most grateful and, and excited and all that, but uh, you couldn't help but feel his emotions. Then when I get here and I meet guys like Russ, Bobby, Dwayne Brown, Tyler Lockett, Quandre Diggs, Al Woods, Freddie Swain, they, they push me and make it exciting just to come to work. And DK Metcalf certainly gave him something to cheer about. Leading receiver, the rookie today. Uh, you know, every play I get, I never take it for granted. Um, so, you know, just happy to be out there. Can you take us through the, the scramble play where Russ kind of floated one up to you? Three-man rush, and Russ is scrambling out of the pocket. And now he lays it up over the top. The ball is caught by Metcalf between two defenders. You know, he had enough trust in me just to lob it up there, so I had to go get it. Uh, Coach Carroll, um, you know, talking to me before the game, it was like, the ball's in there, it's mine. Uh, so just having that mentality, um, you know, I'm already big enough. So just going up and just trusting my technique and trusting my work, um, that's pretty much all it is. There's two veterans that were leaders to you that are different places. What has really impacted you as a leader from them? Their work ethic and how they carried themselves, you know, throughout the facility, throughout the season, uh, you know, no matter where they were. Uh, they always held themselves and others around them to a high standard. So that's what I'm just going to try to continue, uh, you know, to do with this team. This young man is is a 
cutting edge performer um, <clears throat> in all ways. Um, the way he applies himself, his expectations, uh, the way he's willing to work. There's nothing that he is not willing to do to get to, get to the best of his abilities and, and potential. But it's not just about football and it's not just about sports. It's about how he, he attacks everything that he's going for. Well, I've always been a, a competitive person, so just coming here um, and how Pete, you know, teaches that, it, it was just, you know, easy for me to fall in line. You know, I, th I think seeing uh, seeing him be so much more than just a football player um, is, is, a, is a great thrill for me. Uh, and that's why I always, you know, everybody talks about he's a great athlete, he's a beast, he's all this kind of stuff. I, I don't like that talk about him. This guy, is a, he's a complete person and he has so much to offer and I, I always want to, keep bringing it back to him, so whenever I get a chance, I do. Three, two, one. Yo, it's JC from Converge Media, all black media, all black excellent. We're down here at Shady Stadium right now for a very special event, the All-Star Classic softball game. I got a special guest with me right now. Tell him who you are, bro. Buddha Baker was there. Um, I know Miles Jack and like a bunch of people from the Seattle area and community, whether they went to high school here or, or whether they played here. I know Cam Chancellor was there as well, so it was just big to have some legends in the community just show up and come out. Doing something here in the community of Seattle, um, you know, for just the young fans and kids just to, you know, look forward to and just to show that, um, you know, even though you grow up in the, this area, you still can do something in this community and you still can make it out. We have created a platform uh, with the goal of bringing back all these great athletes that have ties to the community. So whether they played high school here, college, went on to the pros, a lot of times they go and leave the community, but they still come here in the off season. And we think it's phenomenal that they all want to come and, and raise money, raise awareness for programs, and just give back. And we want to thank DK here for jumping on board with us and as busy as you are and the things that you have going on. Let us know what coming back here and building for the community means to you. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the fans that showed up. Uh, I've been here for three years, but y'all are my family now, and let's play ball. I hope y'all have a great time. And then do you want him with the fields in the background? Whatever you know. No, I mean, it's kind of nice, actually, with the light. Okay. Oh, okay, and we got his family, too. What'd you say? What'd you say? Can you have somebody take a picture, bro? Yep, doing it. we do. I can't be fake. Are we done? Are we done? Are we yeah, just we, done? Yeah, we, uh, we just did. We can fake it. Yeah, we, get get the paper back. We'll fake it for you. <laughs> Here we can do this. There, there are some paper in front of us. Come on, you choking me. <laughs> I'll take that shirt off. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I would embarrass you. Oh, no, no. Wow. I would take my shirt off, too. What's up, man? How you doing? You all right? You don't have to stay here, man. You don't have to stay here. Yeah! Hey, make sure you get that on film, man. Make sure you get that on film. You know, we're just coming from Oxford, Mississippi, all the way over here to. Seattle is a, a long journey. I'm about to get emotional, so bear with me. Um, it really hasn't hit me until now mm -hmm. that um, I'll have the opportunity just to help so many people back home and help my family. I think it was just me just thanking everybody. Um, you know, ever since I was 12 years old, starting to play football, you know, up until this point now, all the amazing people that I've met, uh, my coaches, teachers, just people that I've, you know, just come across who just helped me get to this point. Um, just just thanking them for, for everything that they helped me with. As much as I bluff to John. 
I wouldn't leave. <laughs> so just to let y'all know. Um, I wanted to be here. I wanted to play here. And, you know, I'm just glad that we got something done. You're competing or you're not, right? Exactly. <laughs> John, for you. Tell me that. It was tough because I wanted to be out there. Um, I never like watching practice or, you know, watch my teammates out there running around without me. But uh, I, I would say it was pretty difficult, but um, it was only for two days. So I got, I got a, a chance to get back out there. Uh, still the first week of camp when we were all in the acclimation period. Freddie and Tyler, they don't mix. <laughs> but uh, I mean, they, they just keep me laughing all day. Um, and when it's time to, you know, buckle up and handle business, they, they know exactly how to do that too. Well, they keep me grounded. Uh, you know, every time I need help on the field, you know, they're always there. Um, you know, I, I love them like they're my brothers. So, you know, whenever they make a play on the field, it's always easy for me to celebrate them. You didn't hear what I said when I was in the training. What you say? He said, there's a new NFL rule. What? DK got paid! <laughs> Our relationship just go, goes on beyond the facility and, you know, outside of these walls, outside the football field. You know, we hang out, um, you know, once a week with each other outside the facility and just, you know, we know each other's families. Um, I mean, it's just like a real brotherhood that we have. I mean, I've been knowing Freddie since uh, high school, so, you know, he knows my process and he's known me for quite some time. Um, and just for him to see that and for him to be happy for me, along with Tyler, is just, you know, it shows how much they care about me. Um, and it's not just, you know, football. It goes on past football. Thank you. I like your hair. Man, I appreciate it. This is an accident, though. Yeah. I really like your shoes. Thank you. I like your jersey. All right, appreciate y'all. Um, I think uh, right now our vibe is very hungry. You know, our defense, um, you know, is very competitive and they're playing with a big chip on, chip on their shoulder. Um, and then our offense, um, I think we're, we're following our defense and trying to be hungry and grimy, you know, as well. And just trying to make every play that comes our way. It's a very competitive time of the, of, uh, the year right now. This is a place for guys from all over, the, all over different backgrounds to come together. And what has been unique about it and what has been special for us is that we've been able to find a way to, yeah, let you be who you are. I want you to be you. I don't want you to try to be somebody else or somebody that you think you should be. I want you to figure out you, and we help you and support you and bring out all the good that you that, that, that makes you who you are. And then we'll put it together. You'll join together. You'll make the commitment to be part of this because it's a freaking great place. It's a great place to play this game. We've got everything that we need here. Everything, and we should feel grateful for that because it ain't like that everywhere. Guys have been other places, you know it's different. This is a unique freaking place. But this is a place for you. It's a place for you to realize your dreams. It's a place for you to, to meet your expectations. It's a place for you to make this happen. And it's my job, it's my job to give you the opportunity and create the competitive moments for you to show who you are so you can fit in. Football teams go through transitions. Every single team does. And you look at all the great championship teams over the years, the competition, the competitiveness at every single position. You have to bring in new blood, new players. And sometimes those players have to learn what it takes to be a pro. 